Hello everyone, welcome back to Ray's Budget, it's your girl Ray, and in today's video we are going to be doing my third cash stuffing of the month, so if you're interested, please keep watching. Okay fam, happy Wednesday, like I stated we are going to be doing my third cash stuffing for the month of May. By the time this video reaches you, it should be Wednesday, so I hope everyone is having a wonderful week. Thank all of you so much for joining me for another video. I really appreciate all of you. Now, if you are not part of the Raised Budget fam, please make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave because I would love to have you here. Now, guys, today we are going to be stuffing $350. So let's go ahead and get this money into the cash tray. We have 51 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 350 dollars. Now, before we get the cash stuffing, let's go ahead and read the inspirational quote of the day. And it states, the secret of getting ahead is getting started. Guys, and that is by Mark Twain. That is a good one. So the very first um, envelopes we are going to be stuffing are the envelopes in my everyday spending um, binder. And as most of you may know, we are going to pull out the money that's in here. That money is going to go to my one of my savings challenges we are going to do in a moment. So first, let's go ahead and stuff groceries. Groceries does have a little bit of money in here. I did pretty good last week. So we're going to set that money off to the side. Groceries today is going to get $140. And I've been doing pretty good with $140. So next we have Dining Out. Dining Out has money left in it as well. I hope everyone had a great Mother's Day. I did. We uh, basically just went out to dinner. My husband took me to Pandora on Saturday so I can get my Pandora bracelet that I want. But guys, it was really, really busy in there. So we're going to just wait and get it another day. But other than that, I had a great Mother's Day. So um, dining out is going to get $40, 10 20 30 40 Next, we have spending. Spending has some money left in it as well. So we are going to put 10 in spending today. Allowance, I know, does not have any money in it because every Friday I treat myself to lunch at work. So we're going to put as usual 10 in there. And as far as my gas is concerned, I do have a couple dollars in there. I've been doing pretty good with about $32, $33 a week. So today it's going to get $35, $20, $30, and $5. Next, guys, we are moving to my revolving and my long-term sinking funds. Let me move this off to the side because I am tracking. I've been doing pretty good with tracking um, my progress. So we are going to keep tracking just to keep up with it. So today, let's see here. Car maintenance is going to get $10. Today is the 17th. And once we add this $10, guys, we should have $438 in here. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43. Wait a minute. One, two, three, fifty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one, four hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, thirty five, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three. Do I not know how to count? I'll figure it out later because it says I should have four thirty eight and I'm short five dollars. So if I have to, I'll just add five to it. 
YouTube today is going to be getting five dollars. And once we add that five, we should be at 45. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Next we have my miscellaneous envelope or my catch all envelope. Today it is getting $20. Twenty, we should have one hundred and twenty-one dollars in here. Once I add this twenty, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one, ten, fifteen, twenty, one, one, twenty-one. Next, guys, we are going to move to my long-term sinking funds. We are going to skip travel today. First, we have. Elijah, who's my grandson, he will be getting $10, and you know what, I do not track theirs because I do not take out of it. So let's add his 10. These two 100s and this 50 represent money that is in my ally account for my grandkids. It's a high yield savings account. So... We have 1, 2, 50, 70, 80, 90, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 316 dollars. Next we have Nalia. And today Lily will be getting five dollars. We have 150, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. We have $186 for Lily. And last, we have Messiah, a.k.a. Sai. We are going to give him $5 today as well. And this takes us to 150, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. One hundred and eighty six dollars for Messiah. Next, we have my self-care binder, and I'm going to only be stuffing two of these envelopes in here today. The first one is going to be hair, because I need to get this um, stacked up for our trip in June. Today, hair is going to be getting $20. And once we add this $20, guys, this should take us to $122. 20. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. If you're still here, let me know in the comments how your week is going. My week is going pretty good. Um, as you guys know, I'm working now. So um I'm working and I'm pretty busy with the orders in my shop. Thank you guys so very much. But let me know how your week is going so far. Now, the next and last envelope we are going to be doing in my self-care binder is my self-dates. And today, self-dates will be getting $10. And I don't know why I'm calling this self-care dates now because I use it for me and my husband sometimes, but it is what it is. Once I add the 10, guys, this will take me to $35. 20, 30, 5. 20, And guys, that is it for my self-care binder. Okay, guys, the very last thing we are going to do is address, what is it, I think, two 
of the savings challenges within one of my savings challenge binders. The first one is going to be Money Masquerade. And this is a um, savings challenge that is in my shop. It is a very low budget savings challenge um, where each icon, as you can see, is worth um, $10. And today, let's see, today we are going to be putting $10 in this savings challenge. So let's go ahead and add 10 to it. And like I stated, the goal with this savings challenge is $100. So what I'm going to do is color in one of these um, icons really quick. Okay, guys, the mask has been colored in. Let's see where we're at toward our goal. We have 20, 30, 40, 50. And guys, um, this money is to um, help me out with Father's Day for my husband. The next savings challenge we are going to do is my demolished debt savings challenge, guys. And basically with this challenge, for anybody that's new and don't know what I'm doing, one of my goals or financial goals for 2023 is to make one principal only payment on our mortgage that equals one of our payments, which is $1,345. Now, the way I am doing that is I am using the money that I have left over from my everyday cash envelopes that I stuff every week. I don't move that money to the next week or the next month. I actually save it. And that is one way, guys, you can help slowly but surely take down your debt. So today we are going to be stuffing. Let's count how much I saved from the prior week. We are going to be stuffing 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 dollars. So not too shabby. Why do I have 20 dollars here? Oh, you know what? Let's stop this real quick and go back. I'm sorry, guys. We need to stuff that 20 dollars into my anniversary challenge. I can't believe I forgot that. Uh, me and my husband are going to Cozumel next month for our anniversary and this money is going to be spent on either excursions or whatever the case may be so today we are going to be stuffing it with twenty dollars each of these icons are worth ten dollars so i'm going to color two of these icons in really quick okay guys as you can see the icon is colored in the goal for this challenge is 180 dollars so let's see where we're at 20 40 60 70 80 91 10, 20, 30, 40. We have $140, guys, which means we only have $40 to go. And I want to have this challenge um, completed by the first week of June because we leave June 15th. So maybe by this before, maybe June 10th or something like that, I want to have this challenge done. So let's go ahead and move back to the, to the Demolish That Debt Savings Challenge. And like I stated with this savings challenge, the goal is to make one principal-only mortgage payment. And so far, I've counted that we have $31 that we're putting into this challenge for the month of May. Now, so far this year, we have made payments totaling $650. So what I am going to do, guys, is add this $31 to what we already have for May so far. Count it up and see if I am able to color in one of my dollar signs on my tracker. So let's see where we're at. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 80. We have $80 going to the challenge so far for this month. So let's get out my calculator. So guys, each of these icons are worth $32. So we're going to take the 80 plus the 650. We're at $730 so far. We're going to divide that by 32. I should be able to have, or I'm able to color in 22 of the icons. So we have 6, 18, no, 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21. Guys, I get to color in another icon. So give me one moment and let me do that. Let's 
put that right there. Let's color in this icon real quick. And if you're still here, let me know if you are trying to pay off debt as well. Um, once I am done with um, reaching my goals for my Life Happens Funds, which is another goal I have for this year, I have four different Life Happens Funds that I am funding with um, savings challenges for my Save Day Sunday, which I, when I'm done with that, which will most likely be next month, guys, I'm excited about it. I'll probably let you know during my Save Day Sunday video how I'm going to do it, but once I am done with that, my focus is going to be going to be to put more money on a monthly basis into our mortgage because we want to try our best to get that paid off by, I want to say, 2030. So let's go ahead and get this back in here. So let me know what debt you're trying to pay off for this year. Okay, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and comment below. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. I would love to have you here. Guys, I will talk to you on Sunday during Save Day Sunday. Have a great rest of your week and a wonderful and safe weekend. God bless. Bye, guys.